Good morning, dear friends. I am Rajendra Linas, Associate Professor and HOD of Electrical Engineering Department at Sanjay Goda University, Kolhapur, Maharashtra. Last two lectures, we have learned about uh, how to design this battery and uh, with the efficiency of, by considering the efficiency of the battery, then how to design the propulsion unit and uh, how the how we will fix the power rating of this. Uh, that power rating of the propulsion unit. In this lecture, we are going to learn about what are the different types of charging method and uh, based on the voltage and the current feeding to the battery, uh, how we can divide the charging method in the different category, everything we are going to learn today. Let me share my presentation now. So charging methods can be classified as three charging, level one charging, level two charging and level three charging. What is level two, level one charging means? It will be the, it will be standard household charging. It has the maximum voltage of 120 volt. It will take around eight hours to charge the battery. So during the night time, we can charge it and the morning we can utilize the same. So in this charging, uh, uh, it will not be affect much the power system. Power system only the night time only we can use it. Then level two charging it require a special station a station for 240 volt of uh, charging. Then it can be a workplace or it can be a public uh, charging station. We can use this type of charging level two charging. But when compared with the level one charging, level two charging have has le uh, less charging time uh, four hours to charge the battery both of the batteries both both of the charging once it's charged it will extend the uh, speed range till till a 75 to 80 miles then level 3 charging is otherwise called as a uh, dc charging fast charging so, that, so for this charging we need dedicated charging station it will take 30 minutes to charge the battery and it will get the speed range of 90 miles 90 miles then the charging based on the level 1 level 2 level 3 we have different types of charging normal charging opportunity charging fast charging and battery charging what is normal charging using a single phase supply around 110 to 240 volt is needed and charging current of 13 to 20 amps and the power rating will be approximately 2 kilowatts to 4 kilowatts it needs to it need the time requirement to charge the battery is 5 to 8 hours so homes and the car parking and all we can use this type of charging normally during the charging can be done during night time so peak hours are very less during night time for, so that power system it will not be much affected by using this normal charging as this charging time is more it is most of the when compared with other charging method it is not popular then opportunity charging which uses three phase supply and 110 volt to 240 volt and the current of 32 to 80 amps the power rating requirement is 8 kilowatts to 20 kilowatts whenever why this is opportunity charging whenever opportunity is there battery will be charged so public charging or public parking places can be used to for this opportunity charging so as as long as as Whenever, whenever we need the charging, that time only it will charge. So, so there is no need to worry about whether this will affect the power station, power system. The reason is of continuously this opportunity charging which will not work. Only the requirement is battery should be ready to take the charge. Then fast charging, the fast charging is nothing but DC charging, it will be have a voltage of 200 to 450 volt and a current rating of 80 to 200 amps. Then voltage power rating 36 kilowatts to 90 kilowatts, so that it will take the time of 20 to 30 minutes to charge. So battery, so within, within the 30 minutes, this battery will charge from zero state of charge to 80 percentage of state of charge. If this required dedicated charging station with all safety measurement and since this is a heavy system sometimes it will affect most of the time it will affect the power system as well 
then battery swapping battery swapping means as like our cooking gas we are swapping the, the cylinders like that once the battery of the one particular charge is drained for the particular battery the battery will be replaced by another one for the battery which is having which is fully charged so it for swapping that only it need a 5 to 10 minutes so this is a good one when compared with the other charging we just we can swap it and we can take it another one battery at the same time it required large space for charging and mechanical systems are needed for swapping the battery and all another one this battery charging requires standardization of the battery packs then uh, charging algorithm. So, charging algorithms are the important parameters we should consider for charge the battery. The reason is when we charging, when the charging time is increases, battery life as well as charging efficiency will reduce. So, normally for uh, for charging algorithm should be designed to improve the charging efficiency to reduce the charging time to enhance the battery life and protect the battery from any kind of fault. So these are all the main requirements of it is the charging algorithm has to fulfill. Accordingly, charging can be classified as constant current charging, constant voltage charging, constant current, constant voltage charging, multi-stage charging, pulse charging and trickle charge. Let me explain only one, one by one what is meant by constant current charging. In this constant current charging, charging current will be maintained constant. Initially, it will apply more voltages to the battery then this voltage will be gradually reduces whenever it reaches the charging state of charge reaches nearly 100 percent the voltage will reduces voltage will come down so accordingly the reduction in the voltage which help us to identify the charger is full the charger is fulfilled charging is which state of charge is increases to 100 percentage then constant voltage is charging the constant voltage charging is just vice versa of constant current charging what, what will happen initially it will be fully charged with the high magnitude of current then once the battery reaches the nearby the fully threshold value of the fully charged then the current will gradually reduces current will be reduces so that the current will be maintained between maximum and minimum <coughs> so constant current charging is popular in nickel batteries and constant voltage charging is popular in lead acid batteries then constant current and constant voltage batteries the constant current and constant voltage batteries it will be the hybrid form of constant current and constant voltage what is the advantages of constant current the current will be maintained and voltage will be made, voltage will be reduced whenever the battery charge is nearly fully charged what is my constant voltage the constant voltage charging uh, current will be initially high and whenever the charging it charges nearby this state, state of fully state of charge automatically current will reduce so similarly it will start with the constant current charge constant high voltage will be applied once this, once this charging is reaches 80 percentage automatically it will be converted into constant voltage charge Therefore, what happens if the constant voltage charging automatically current will reduce. So, <coughs> so this is called as constant current and constant voltage charge. Then pulse charging, it is similar to the multi-stage charging. It is the charging current will be high magnitude of current will be given in the form of impulses. Initially, high uh, high current pulses are given to the battery then gradually reduces when lower value by whenever the charging is fully filled charge is, state of charge is increases to nearly 100 percent trickle charging trickle charging in the sense it will keep the battery all the time charging condition what happened during the environmental conditions even though this battery is fully fully charged and not utilized by any propulsion unit or any electrical car this details discharge self discharging will be take place so in order to avoid that discharging will always supplies 
uh, the only the losses component of that particular discharging to the particular battery. So this is what I would like to conclude this today's lecture. Next lecture I am going to explain about what are the different types of charging scheme, uh, wired power transfer and wireless power transfer. I hope this uh, lecture is very much helpful to you and those who are uh, the, the people who would like to uh, learn more uh, things about electrical vehicle and other things you can uh, just uh, subscribe this channel and press the bell button in the right side i hope this uh, topics are very much understandable and uh, interesting one wish you all the best thank you